ask the non-Muslim is that if all the Muslims they believe in the same Allah they follow the same Quran they believe in the same Prophet then why are Muslims divided into sects the reply to this question is given in the glorious Quran in Surah Al Imran chapter number 3 verse number 103 where Allah says وَعَتَسِيمُ بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِعَ وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided there's double emphasis hold to the rope of Allah strongly the second emphasis and be not divided the rope of Allah it's a glorious Quran Allah says hold to the rope of Allah that's the glorious Quran and be not divided Allah says أَتِيُ اللَّهِ أَتِيُ الرَّسُولِ Obey Allah and obey the Messenger in Surah Nisa chapter 459 so we have to strongly hold to Allah and the sayings of the Prophet and be not divided. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 159, that if anyone breaks their religions and divides the religion of Islam into sects, O Prophet, you have nothing to do with him. Allah will look after his affairs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling that if anyone breaks his religion into sects, and divides his religion. Oh Prophet, you have nothing to do with him. Allah will look after his affairs on the day of judgment. But when we ask the Muslim, normally, what are you? So some say, I'm a Sunni. Some say, I'm a Shia. Some say, Hanafi. Some say, Shafi. Some say, Hamali. Some say, Malki. Some say, Deobandi. Some say, Barevli. Some say, Eliadis. Some say, Salafi. Some say, Jamaat Islami. Some say, Tabligi. What was the beloved Prophet? What was he? Was he Hanafi? Was he Shafi? Was he Hanbali? What was he? What was he? He was a Muslim. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 52, Isa alayhi salam was a Muslim. Allah says in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse 67, that Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was not a Jew or a Christian, he was a Muslim. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fusilat, chapter 41, verse number 33, Woman ahasanu kala mimman da'i lallahi wa amilu salihun kala inna ni minil muslimin Who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of their Lord, works righteousness and sees that I am a Muslim. Kala inna ni minil muslimin and sees that I am a Muslim. And the master key for da'wah which I've mentioned in several verses of the Quran, in several of my lectures, the master key of da'wah and the most important verse according to me in the Quran of Sulaiman Imran chapter 3 verse number 64 is Pul Yahl Kitab. Say, O people of the book, Ta'ala wila kalimatin sawa im bayna baynakum. Come to common terms as in us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na abda illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushika bihi shayyon. That we associate the partners with Him. Wala yat takhizaba dunaba dan arbaban min dunillah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Find our law. If then they turn back. Fakul shadu. Say we bear witness, we are Muslimun, that we are Muslims bowing our will to Allah. I am a Muslim, we are Muslim. No less than 22 places in the Quran, Allah says, call yourself a Muslim, call yourself a Muslim. Ibrahim alayhi salam, in Surah Hajj, chapter 22, when he did dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told that make my children Muslims. All these ayamas, all these great scholars of Islam, the four Imams, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Abid bin Hanbal, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on them all. May Allah be pleased with them all. I love them, I respect them all. All these are great scholars of Islam. All of them. When you ask them, if you ask Abu Hanifa, may Allah be pleased with him. Who are you? What reply will he give? What will he say? I'm a Muslim. We love these scholars, we respect these scholars. All the scholars said that if you find any of my fatwa which goes against Allah and His Rasul, you throw my fatwa on the wall. We love these scholars, we respect them, but all of them came to get us closer to Islam, to make us a practicing Muslim, not divide our religion. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 59. Ya illizina amanu. Oh, you believe. Atiullah, what's your Rasul? Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. 
and those who have been charged with authority who have been charged with authority amongst you so people say believe in Allah believe in the message messenger and believe in the scholars but they're putting a full stop where there's no full stop the verse does not end there the verse continues obey Allah and obey the messengers and those who have been charged with authority the ulama the scholars but if they differ go back to Allah and his Rasul if they differ if any scholar if you find all the scholars say the same thing you don't have to do research all say pray five times no problem all say fast no problem but if two scholars differ you go back to Allah and his Rasul where is the question of dividing the religion that's our beloved Prophet Muhammad said it's a Sahih Hadith of Sunan Abu Dawood Hadith number 4579 our beloved Prophet said there will be 73 sects in Islam but mind you so people say Prophet has prophesied the Prophet said they will be the Prophet didn't say make the Prophet said they will be 73 sects Prophet did not say you should make sects in Islam Allah clearly mentions in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse 159 do not make sex in the religion of Islam the Prophet predicted there will be 73 sex he didn't say you should make there's another hadith a Sahih hadith in Tirmidhi hadith number 171 a beloved Prophet Muhammad said that there will be 73 sex in Islam out of which all will go to hell except one the Sahaba asked which one he said those that follow me and my companions those that follow Quran and the authentic hadith so if you stick to the Quran and the Sahih hadith you are on the straight path so in Islam there is no divisions and no sects in Islam Islam is only one the Quran is one our beloved Prophet is one you have to follow the Quran and the authentic sayings of Prophet Muhammad the 19th most 